Our athletic programs continue to grow. In the last decade, we've added 18 new sports, many opportunities for all of our student athletes. Every season, we have between 750 and 1,000 student athletes competing. We currently have Walker Field, which is our primary field, but we have a secondary field called Malloy. It's out in the back of the high school, and if you know anything about this area, you know we are surrounded by wetlands. If you were to go there on any spring day, you would find a soup bowl. The field on Lower Malloy uh, you know, it's, it's one of our premier grass fields, but th the issue with it has always been the drainage and obviously the wetlands which surround the field, as well as the, the water runoff from the hill on Lower Malloy. We tend to get a lot of water, and when we do get rain, it takes several days for this field to dry out in order for our teams to be able to utilize it and practice on it. I've played on this field a bunch of times. Lacrosse also plays here, so during my season, there's a huge bump from where the lacrosse goal is. That's like right in the box, right where we're trying to shoot. And also when it rains, we're displaced because either our cleats are tearing up the field that we have to use for game day. There's like a puddle, even when you're trying to get in, there's a whole puddle that you have to step over. And if it's a game and it's rained, within a couple weeks, the puddle's still there and other teams are having to climb the fence and jump over the puddle. It's a whole mess. With the synthetic turf field here on Lower Malloy, we'd be able to have multiple teams practice on this facility and multiple times. The, the width of the field would be able to, to house at least you know three to four teams practicing simultaneously uh, at various levels, uh, both in the fall and the winter season. I think practicing on a turf field would help a lot. We'd be faster. It's so much easier to like be consistent instead of having like almost being scared every time of like what you're gonna step into or if you're gonna roll your ankle or something like that. Like I think a turf field would just help overall in general with our speed of play, like how good we are, how consistent we are. And being able to have another synthetic turf field would really give us an opportunity to uh, you know, allow more of that community usage of our turf fields and, and the availability of you know, a fine facility being available to our community. Currently we have uh, lighting on our walker field, which is a very old system, which tends to illuminate not just the field, but the surrounding uh, neighborhoods and Route 155. When we have contests and games late at night, that really affects our neighbors in regards to how much light is transmitted to their properties. With putting in new LED lighting, we'd be able to pinpoint the accuracy of the lights on our turf fields, as well as provide security lighting around our field and around our track in the evenings. It is more energy efficient, the LED lights uh, definitely cost a lot less to, to maintain and to, and to replace, and they do tend to last a lot longer. The district leadership team has worked hard to develop a scope of work for this project that mitigates the tax impact to the community. The total cost of the project is estimated to be approximately $94.1 million, but we are in a very favorable position to receive almost 78% building aid back on the cost of the project. New York State incentivizes school districts to improve their campuses through the provision of building aid, so the taxpayers will end up spending a approximately $20.6 million after building aid is applied. The capital project vote will be scheduled on the same day as our annual school budget vote. This year it's Tuesday, May 21st. The voting is at the district office, which is 91 Fiddler's Lane. We're open from 6 a.m. for all of you who like to come before work, and we're here till 9 p.m. at night. North Colony residents who are registered voters are able to request a ballot and vote by mail this year. If you would like to request a ballot, simply scan the QR code that's on the screen or go to our North Colony website to request your ballot at any time.